Yeah, you could definitely have good early access experiences. Just for how I like playing games, I... I am not a fan of them on a personal level. Or it's just like, good lord. So let me play a game. It's my ish. He's a polite little pirate. Let me smash. Still going in for that smelt, are you? Fail pro. Is that a little man hiding behind something? What's he hiding? What secrets does he hold? You don't get to have a turn. Those are the rules. Should have opened with this, but that's all right. Bird memes are some of my favorite memes, I must say. <laughs> You're running a little hot. Time to knock you down to size. <coughs> Do you see now? Your mission's hopeless. <coughs> I'm an extension <sighs> of Mother's Wheel. Sorry, I sneezed in the middle of that. take allergy pills before I start streaming. It's so damn noisy. You know, we're all trying to watch stuff. You fucking inconsiderate bastard. Coughing all the time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second, wait a second. Cancel that. Can't cancel that. He's going real fast. Like a personal Into the Breach can make a story feel with only 100 or so strings of dialogue total. It's a good game! And it's made by the FTL people, and they know how to make a good game. Is there anything I could do to be in front of him? Oh, yes there is. Bye. <laughs> you don't get to do your stupid attack. Ah, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done her reflect. So he would have killed himself. I've been wanting to kill someone that way. That would have been my best opportunity. He had like one hit point. Plus three armor inflicts extra five seconds of stagger on AoE attacks. 25% damage versus health inflicts irradiated. Equip it. You think the music in this game gets old quick? I like this music. So far, it does not bother me. But I really like synth music, so... This is the kind of stuff that I enjoy listening to. Great job, you sliced and diced those bogeys. Now that their base belongs to you, you've earned a break. Set up camp, get some rest, and we'll push on in the morning. Do 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 do. Gotta start making friends all over again. Max shields. Shield damage is increased for two combats. Let's go with that one. Anyone have a two cost card we can go with? Nope. Seems like a game you would listen to your Spotify playlists while playing. I could see that. Like, I dig this music, but this is like right on, right over my plate, you know? Right in the strike zone for me. 
But it's also the kind of game that I could definitely see turning the music off and listening to other music without that much of a problem. Let's have you two become friends. <clears throat> Yeah, but I don't have any cards I could play. It's like, hey, you still got stuff you could do. <coughs> <coughs> I also am bad at using podcasts. Can't get into them, usually. Point me to where to channel my rage! Well, well... Whoever took Mother's Base will need to pay with their flesh. I will eat them, just watch me. I'm sure Mother doesn't expect us to beat them, just sort of grind them down. We're okay with that, right? Pope, welcome back from the land of the sleeping. I hope you had a very relaxing and refreshing night. The armor station, that's the kind of thing we want to leave for right before the boss fight. But probably not on, on World 1, where we can get through without too much trouble. But also equipment, I want equipment. What else we got out there? Shield enhancing, full heal. So that's a breach with nothing that happens, that's a breach with nothing that happens, but it gets us stuff that we'll use later. I might just make like a big ring around. And the best way to do that would be go through these lockdown locations first. Let's do it. Breach! Yeah, you want to have a turgid sleeping experience. The more turgid, the better. Alright, I could break you, so let's break you. Let me smash. Maybe we'll focus on killing a dude. Can I kill him with just the two of you? I can. Everyone else is shooting you? Deflect that. <clears throat> As always, we'll go with the essential, the essential, the, the safer bet of it's yours unless I physically stop you from leaving. That's a better way to do things. And knowing me, there's a chance I'll be like, hey, you want to work on Friday? Because I have trouble saying goodbye to my puppy dog, but I'm definitely going to try and leave on Thursday. <laughs> Taking off another week of work seems irresponsible, and I have to do paperwork, so I actually work there. Pleasant dreams. Sleep. The sleep of sleep. Alright, who's shooting who? You're all going for her? That's fine, whatever. You guys could do that if you want. Burst shot. You just do a smayish. Give him the good shoot, thank you. One more good shoot. Your scarf robot looks like a strapped Geodude. It could be. It might just be a Geodude that has robot legs. <laughs> I find it best not to assume. A Graveler. <laughs> and dead. <clears throat> That's a level up right there. <coughs> this 
Graveler have guns? He's pretty ripped. I'd say he has guns. Maybe we can get some... Sorry, he's a pirate. Yar, maybe we can get some of the famous Mancuan wheat brew here. Let's move on. These villages are just filled with crusty wheat farmers and overpriced tourist shops. I hope we can save Menku before the annual yeast harvest. Strap means carrying a gun, guys. But also, I wanted to go with the, uh... Does it have guns, as in muscles? So, you know, I was going, going on a different joke tour. Alright, both are shooting her. Broadside. I'm gonna get the closest. You know what? Guy in front. You get broke. And just kill him. Or you know what? Let's not kill him. I think I can just kill them both next turn if I do this. Definitely can kill them both next turn. Part of the triad. Oh, good. This me. All right. Which one can you kill outright? Either one. You kill him. And then the two of you work together to kill this guy. I think my ideal party would be Aegis here, and then Aegis right next to Aegis, and then Aegis next to Aegis, and then in ba back there, uh, these two guys, and also Saboteur. That'd be the ideal part. Sounds like a real good party, that. Do, 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 do. Six Aegis. Wouldn't be much uh, damage output. <laughs> but it'd be real good too. These resistors think they're so great for fighting us. Don't they realize all this struggle is meaningless when compared to the inevitable heat death of the universe? It's important to keep these things in perspective. Are you sure you have enough Aegis? Looks like you use a little bit of Aegis there, friend. Have you considered... Aegis? Uh, the one thing I miss is Saboteur. He could break either one of them with his one little throw a little love- throw a little bomb move. I forgot the name of it. Uh, he was always very, very efficient at keeping people not having turns. Laser eyes. Let's go with the deflect on you. Don't really need armor piercing rounds when they just have two armor. Can God make an attack so strong that even he cannot deflect it? Or an attack so fast he can't parry it? God works in mysterious ways. I don't think we'll ever have the answers. You know what? Yeah, let's do that and then just shoot this man. When in doubt, kill them. Do you have a moment to talk about our lord and savior, Aegis? She of the shield? A sneak attack so subtle that they don't notice it? All good questions that need answers. Watch this! I prefer not watching that, to be honest with you. I will break you. Hey, what up? Hey, what up? Hey, what up? Is this game recommended? Do you like these styles of game? I would definitely say yes, this is a recommended game. I have been enjoying it a whole hell of a lot. I like it quite a bit. Alright. We're gonna smash him, push him back a little bit. And now he's gonna pop in and break him, so he misses his turn. And then give him a shoot for damage. And he only blocks six of that damage with his shields. Laser Storm is still incoming. 
Would you recommend struggling? I would recommend struggling if you enjoy struggling. I wonder if I could break him again. We'll just buckshot. Smash? We're outside. Oh my god, bounce a lot. At some point, we are gonna have to play more bounce a lot. <laughs> it's on the wheel of suffering. We haven't spun that wheel yet, though. I made it, but we haven't used it. <coughs> this will take a while. Oh, he's charging. I wonder if he'll survive the charging experience. Oh, he just survives the charging experience. I've been making, just in my spare time, I make different poles and different wheels for people to spin. Alright, I'm pretty sure he has one hit point. This is not going according to plan! Inspect him. He has exactly one hit point. Tomorrow, I think we're actually going to be playing some games together. And by games, I mean game. I think we'll play Among Us tomorrow. If you just go ahead and just shoot him with lock target immediately so we don't have to, uh, have any pretense here, that'd be great. Thank you. I guess I deserve that. I'll recover the bodies when we defeat these interlopers. We wouldn't want them to go to waste. Sickness here. Being the most ruthless gang in the galaxy wasn't enough. Now they're working with the Imperium. Typical grifters. Latching themselves onto whoever will pay them the most credits. I owe those guys a lot of money, so this might solve a few problems at once for me. Let's see what we get first, and then level up. That's why, because we got a few level 3s here. Pyro Gauntlets, though! 25% damage versus shields, inflicts ionized 3. All attacks are 5 seconds faster. Penetrates armor 25%, inflicts burning. And it steals 3 to 13 health. Oh. Oh. I know who's gonna be level three. God damn. Level up. Put on your new gloves. He definitely has those dead eyes. Excuse me, you talking about my puppy dog eyes? I know Benji's not in the room at the moment, so you're not talking about his adorable eyes. That's gonna come in handy for the boss fight. No, I forgot to look and see if there's any, like, stray strands of DNA for me to lick off the floor. Damn it. Wait, shouldn't we have gotten a zero-cost card for defeating that jerk? Oh well. Oh. I see, I see. Yeah, he does have some creepy dead eyes. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. Alright, I'm looking for max friendship here. Five friendship. Let's try and make you two friends? Actually, I've seen you as friends before. Let's work on you two. <coughs> I don't have much experience with this guy as companion. Everyone, focus fire your friendship on the Geodude with legs. Damn, I need more cards. What if we could find a food vendor on this map somewhere? There's a food vendor. Ah, oh, damn, locked. Complicates my maneuvers. Yeah, just some straight DNA on the floor to lick up. Nothing to be ashamed of. Can't let go to waste. Breach.
That's an enemy type I haven't seen yet. Carve up. All three are going after her. Jeez, guys, calm down. Deflect. I think we just kill that guy in the back, so let's just do it. <coughs> Shields down, finish him off, please. Sucker. Whoa, where'd that bleed come from? Oh, knife guy probably has a special piercing effect. <clears throat> Don't care for that. Yeah, that sharpen must have cut through or something going on. Well, I think I'd like you to die now. Friendo. Kill him, please. Make sure he doesn't have a turn, but also kill him. Delicious. Uh, Commando's gonna be very helpful for the, the behemoth fights. Armor piercing rounds is going to make me a very happy camper, I think. Oh, he's already dead. Well... Just know you died for no reason. And no one will mourn you. I'll take some DNA, thank you. Ooh, mushroom. Yar, are these the mega shrooms that make you grow if you eat them? These shrooms are actually quite intelligent. I believe this one is an accountant. Go on. I dare you to lick those mushrooms. Anyone want to see some crazy colors? God, don't make me long for the last time I did shrooms. I miss those days. So hard to get now. Oh, she's a little damaged, but she's fine. But let's level up before we go. I think I would like... Repair Surger Sent Armor. Attacks... Reduce damage. I'll level you up. I like having more more food cards that are always useful as opposed to situationally useful. You'd lick that mushroom, no hesitation. Mighty Odin died. Breach! I could get to that food vendor. <laughs> Mother sent into me, I must kill the interlopers! Twelve armor, oh my goodness, we're gonna have a use for it. Armor piercing rounds, please. Do it. And then broadside him so he doesn't have a turn. And hit him. And burst shot him, just do a lot of damage. I should have focused on the other dude, but I'd like to get him out of the way first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Both going after her. Buckshot him. I think with a smash I could maybe break you? Oh, after the broadside? Definitely break. Hundred percent, easy peasy. She'll be much better at staggering and, and knocking people into the next turn when she has shield throw. Enjoy the fire. 
I will bend you to my will. Will a broadside do anything? It's a kill shot on you. Let's go for the kill shot. You give me a smash. You give me a burst shot. Goodbye. Someone actually lost their armor. Sorry, their shields. Mother, your will is done! I think she wanted to do more than that, friend. Mother, save me! Retreating, not allowed. You're not allowed to leave, friend. You must die. They are very satisfying death animations. All the animations are satisfying. No more armor for you. And dead. That one in particular is a very satisfying death animation. There we go, dynamic duo. That's what I wanted. Some freebie cards. I was just getting started! There will be no one left on this team. I will not have any nemesis moving forward, thank you very much. You lost against future pace to be eaten? What a joke! Do, 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 do. Level up before or after I take my stuff? So hard to choose. Oh, well, I can only level up one guy, so easy to choose. Level three for everybody. Hmm. Afflicts extra stagger? 10 seconds of extra stagger on light attacks. Steals 3 to 13 shields on all attacks. Oh my god. So currently, she steals health when she hits. If she also steals health when she hits, that'd be super nice. We could also apply that on our very fun shooty shooty boy. <laughs> she already has these very self-same gauntlets equipped, so I don't think we uh, want these. Concussive Rifle. Stagger 10 seconds, inflicts rattle to 3. Weakens the enemy's damage, so they do 10% less damage. I like the idea of her being able to, like, replenish herself a little bit. As much as I want a, a nice gun. And this is his rifle, so we would have two different guns going on. And that's nice and all, but... I think we're gonna go with the implant for her. Give her other ways to replenish her shields. Alright. Let's go ahead and... <laughs> He's a paste eater! Let's remove the last paste eater. <clears throat> yes, the more tanky the tank, the better. If I have the paste extruder, I'm going to mash up these resistors. Good. They do have individual personalities. They're a little bit more limited compared to Shadow of War and Shadow of Mordor, but still good. So that's the kind of opening attack that ruined me in, in Planet 2. It utterly devastated my shields last time. This only did a dent. Consider yourself seasoned. Keep your dirty, pasty hands off my friends. You have friends? Ah, that was what he shouts before Overwatch. You guys don't know what friendship is. You don't understand the magic of friendship. Let's go ahead and knock him out of his move. It thinks it has friends. On fire. There won't be much left when I'm done with you. I think we might just be able to murder this man outright. That's pretty reduced damage. 
Hmm. Both of them are targeting her. You go ahead and go into deflect. Let's focus our fire on this gentleman. Decent amount of reflected damage there. No more armor for you. Oh, he's pissed. He was weak to his own damage type. Extra good. You want something a bit stronger? That kill shot is very nice. Broadside him. Burst shot him. Got a little bit of shield back. It's real nice having that. Shields down. Decent amount of crits in there. 64 shield damage. Still hasn't gotten through to health, which is all I was worried about. Oh, he's doing a charge, huh? This is when we just go ahead and hit them a lot. Goodbye. Fast forward until the death animation. There we go. 17 DNA, not too bad. Paste! It was my one character trait, Paste! New gear. Laser rifle. A blade of vest. Pulse Blaster. He already has a blaster. It's a level 1 blaster. We could just outright equip this right now. But you don't have anything yet, do you? I think I might want to give you this rifle. Plus 1 Fury gained per crit. Plus 25% damage versus health inflicts a radiated 3. Yeah. Yeah, let's give him a thing. That dude loved his paste. Just free DNA on the floor. Don't mind if I put that in my mouth. Just slurp, slurp, slurp up that DNA that was on the floor. And someone's gonna be level four now. Oh, I really wanted her to be level four, to be honest. The shield throw is another good way to knock people back. You know what? I'm not gonna level up. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out for our turn. One more fight, and we should be able to level her up to, uh, level four. What a dynamic duo. Aw, thought leadership. Repairs armor. Don't need to do it, but I'll use it just for the friendship. Everyone's got full armor at the moment. Two for five. One for five. Oh, that costs f Oh, two. Yeah, let's go with this. You two become better friends. Gives me a three. Two. Three. Two. Let's go with this one. A vague truism. That's what I want to hear around the campfire. Still no companions yet. Alright, one more day, three more breaches. We're already at our destination. <coughs> Don't really need that full heal. Enhanced shields would be nice though, but that's already unlocked. That's already on lock as well. Alright. I think... I'm gonna get the credits over here. Get the free box of credits. Damn it, I can't go down there? That's a bummer. 
I really wanted more food cards. Have a good night, Rip. Sleep? The deep sleep of sleepy sleeps? And I hope that sleep is filled with only the most... pleasant of dreams. Just the most erotically charged dreams. <laughs> have, have a good night. Sleep well. 15 damage. Break him. And then give me the smashings. And then burst shot. Actually, you know what? Cancel that. I think I can get a kill on that guy and also break him. Yeah, we can. Beautiful. Oh, whoops! Oh no, that worked out. Oh, I thought it was the wrong guy for a second there. It's like, oh god, I let someone do something? That's not allowed. Give me a smash. Salvo's a kill shot. Lock target. That way it goes off before anything else. Doesn't get to do anything, that's what I wanted. 22 DNA, that's more than enough DNA for my purposes. To make a baby. Shield throw, yes! Beautiful, that's what I wanted. Shield throw is real good. I guess we'll go ahead and unlock this for the full heal. Unless there's something else that's more worth my while? <clears throat> I mean, fighting dudes for experience points is probably more worth my while, isn't it? Yeah, screw full heal. I don't need that shit. <coughs> Immolate, huh? Yeah, off the bat, I could shield throw this guy. Armor piercing rounds, broadside. And burst shot. Break him. All of his armor's already gone. Beautiful. Yeah, no, Commando's real good for getting rid of armor, which is going to be very nice for the behemoths. Smash. Beautiful. Very nice. And the kill shots. Yeah, I like when the flavors blow up. It's a very nice death animation. Well, it was only four experience points. We got credits out of the deal. Ooh, just some DNA on the floor? Don't mind if I do. Camp. Shield damage, 25% for two combats. It's actually kind of good for this boss fight coming up, getting through the shield fast. Two more points. Alright, we have this one that cost one. <laughs> and this one that cost one. <clears throat> I think we've done it. I think we've... Yes, we've become companions! Bentley, it's great to meet you. I wanna... I wanna hear evidence for why the Klaxon disaster was actually staged. 
I love that this man is a weird conspiracy nut who's like talking about ancient aliens and false flag operations. Like his whole personality is just a paranoid conspiracy theorist. Yar, have you considered that your attachment to conspiracy theory stems from an inability to face reality and take personal responsibility? I missed two credit jobs, oh no! Are you saying that my beliefs are built around childhood trauma? Yar, I think you'd find my new book useful. It's your parents, not the government. A guide to blaming the right authority figures for your inability to cope with society. Can't believe I missed two credit drops, God damn it! I was so blinded by my search. No, the credit drops are right there! I'm gonna pretend they were in a locked part and I couldn't get to it. Those were locked, fail, come on. You know I can't go to the locked areas. Citizen, you are approaching a highly volatile site that will, our organization is cleaning for your benefit. You are welcome. Yar, so this is an awkward time to ask this, but what is a Titan Core? Never mind, I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, giant armored douche. Finally. Come in with a big one. Shield throw doesn't knock him back at all? Broadside doesn't knock him back either. Oh boy. You know what? In that case, we're going for deflect. Let's get some armor piercing rounds going. And lead that into a broadside. And you go into a burst shot. Shred some armor. You have approached the restricted area, and will now be submitted to potential extrajudicial punishments such as, but not limited to, excruciating pain, dismemberment, and death. No crits, sadly. It's a very purdy game. Coming at me with the thing I dislike the most, but I can break him with a mere shield throw, so let's go for the shield throw. More armor-piercing rounds, please. Into a broadside. Really, armor piercing requires the shields to still be down? I figured you could do it beforehand. Oh well. Live and learn, but thank you, Power Maid. That's very important information for me to have. Sometimes I make... bad calls. Can another shield throw break him again? It can, well, I'll do that. Go to a broadside. We will finally be through the shields now, and then I'll start doing armor piercing. There we go. Now let's start shredding. Man, I could have sworn on one of the previous fights I was going through their armor while they still had shields, but it may have just been graphics overlapping. That can be a problem sometimes when there's like four or five dudes on the other side. You lose track of where their bars are. Now that we have the chance, armor piercing. A buckshot to stun him so I don't have to worry about this attack he's doing. A broadside. And a smash. Ah, very good to see that minus seven on armor. 
Gamma Beam on her. Let's have her deflect. Armor piercing rounds again. Burst shot. Broadside. Mmm. Tearing through that armor. Shields down, a little disappointing. I will now end your mortal existences. Compliance with this action would be appreciated. I did not consent to that scan. Alright, it's going for a reboot. Shield throw him into a break. Broadside, burst shot. Forgot that goes off first. Whichever. As long as he's broken, that's what matters to me. Overwatch is fine there. Oh god. Overwatch was not fine there. God damn, that was a mistake. All right, he's still in Overwatch. It's a little dangerous there. Good lord. Definitely, definitely don't want him to do his, uh... You know, he'll die there, huh? <laughs> Shield transfer on you. Broadside? I don't mind if they take a little bit of damage here. I thought I did shield transfer on you. Yeah, that was scary. That was bad. That was a bad thing. Why didn't you get shields when I clicked on you last time? It's a free action, but I don't see it going off. What am, what am I misunderstanding right now? I'm supposed to be transferring 55 shields to them. Oh, I don't have shield is the problem, isn't it? It's literally a transfer of shield. Oh, boy. Maybe I want to charge my shields here. I mean, I'll heal myself if I do this. I'll heal even more if I do that. He will get his overwatch attack on me, but... I don't... want him to die. No more armor for you. He's fine, he's fine. How much health does he have? Two hit points, huh? What's the fastest move anyone can do? Damn it! I hope you enjoy your journey to the Nether Realms. Just kidding, there is no afterlife. Death is final and existence is meaningless. I will not let him die, Jukes. Gunner's not dying, Jukes. Also, hello, Jukes Box Hero. How's it going? Burst shot, huh? I don't like how early in this round this dude's going here.
We're targeting her, and it's a kill shot. Let's have her deflect. First shot. Broadside. Oh, I'm glad you're doing all right. I also can't complain. I'm doing pretty good. Nearing the end of my little vacation here visiting family in New York. Goodbye, Behemoth. Cut things a little bit close there, but you know what? I like to live dangerously. Mother, I have failed you! No survivors. Alright. Who will our new friend be? I see Marksman and I see Saboteur. Oh, that's a tough choice. They're both back row folk. Saboteur would be really good for breaking folks and preventing them from getting turns. But damage output wise, he's not bringing that much to the table. Marksman, on the other hand, really good at doing a lot of damage. What else we got here? <coughs> Colossus, a blade of vest, focus cortex. Anyone could use these. What about for the weapons merchant? That's definitely the Buster Sword, which no one we could recruit would be able to use, nor can we use. A nice rare blaster inflicts extra 10 seconds of stagger on all attacks. Plus 10% crit damage on all attacks. That's real good. Laser Gauntlets, 25% damage versus health, inflicts irradiated. Hmm. Concussive Rifle. I mean, this is real cheap, but it's level 3. I'm just gonna buy it. 14? Yeah, we're gonna do it. No downside there. Alright. Do I want increased damage output or increased... Disruptiveness. Disruption? Increase in disruption? Not sure how to word that one. Damage versus disruption. And eventually an AoE, that's pretty nice. I don't know, I really like the sniper. But we're not super great at disrupting folks. You're leaning saboteur. I do love that scoundrel. Uh, damage versus... You know what? Yeah, I'll go Saboteur. It'll give us another once-per-combat maneuver that can stun someone. We'll have another ability that's really good at moving people back. His damage not the best, but... Once we get Dynamite, we'll have something that's good for a nice AoE. I've got my blasters at the ready, my wits are sharpened, I'm wearing my finest tattered trench coat. Let's take these guys down, Nodo style. This is a pain gig, right? Yar, I really don't want to see what's beneath that trench coat. Welcome to the party, Saboteur. Alright, now that we know we have him in the party... Well, actually, let's level him up a few times. Johnny Coolhair joins the party. Level 2... Trick shot's the one I really wanted. Level three. Get some more meal cards to work with. All right, now that he's level three, I think there's a weapon we could take advantage of here. A blaster, either one could take it. Fortunately, it's not for a level we could do at the moment. Before I spend the money on that, let's take a look at this. Level 3, level 3. Two level 3s to work with. Plus 9 armor damage, heavy attacks. Bleeding 3 on all attacks. Steel shields. 
on all attacks. Yeah. Wait, I could rename these guys? Are you serious? Obviously, chat needs to be my people. I did not know that. Auto regen on shields. Anyone can use these, huh? I mean, obviously the character that is our tank. All right. Or the weapon merchant. I'm gonna buy the treachery for later. <clears throat> With 23 left over, I could also buy something else. Might as well have something. Focus Cortex, 15% damage versus health on light attacks. Armor piercing on all attacks. Plus 8 armor, plus 16 shields. I mean, we have some folks that are kind of weak. So let's buy this for later. Ah, oh, damn, 24? I have 23. Ah. Oh. Everything costs 24. If only there was one penny on the floor, one dollar on the floor. Squad. Click on her name. Click on her name. It won't let me rename. Is this what you're talking about? On this screen, click on their name? It is possible that you are playing the version that is one, one number ahead of mine. Apparently the Steam release is slightly more updated than my version. I'm playing this on the uh, Xbox Games Pass. For Winders. Which is why my Aegis eventually gets a move that apparently does not exist on the Steam version. Or just shield transfer or, or charge shields. One of these two doesn't exist on the Steam version. It doesn't seem like I'm allowed to click on their, their name. Not here, either. Oh well. Go to the next planet. Yes, see. Let's go, Naroche. Alright, must just be a version thing. Seven! Oh my. Become real good friends, you two. Plus five hearts between you two, please. You're sad now? I'm also sad. Ginger the guinea pig, hello there. How are you? Good ginger, good, good guinea pig sounds. Weak, weak, weak. Four points. All right, let's do two twos, unless there's a one. There is a one I could take advantage of. Maybe I'll do a three. Ah, so close. So very close. Five friendship points there. Well, shiver me timbers! I love that he's a pirate. That's my favorite part of him. What a good piratey D. What a good piratey B. I'm here to serve out the rest of my tour, that's all. Mother says to kill the interlopers before they get any further, and we must obey her. This dimension's a feisty one, but we'll put them down, like we've done before. Squash the insects. There is our destination. Let's see. Come down from there, come down from there, so I can get those two crates. 
Come down from here for a full health we could hold on to for later. There's some food cards. So going up seems nice. The other thing I'm looking for, of course, is this right here. But once I get to that from that way, I can go down, I can go down, and I can go over here, and we can restore our armor before the boss fight. Are you kidding me, auto mod? Waifu is a auto modded term? Unacceptable. This is a weeb friendly location because I watch all of the anime and I will not stand for waifu being an auto modded turn. That is unacceptable. Someone get Twitch on the phone. Where's Katase? I know he works for those people. It just said auto modded term waifu. Unacceptable. For shame. Is everybody trying to punch my beautiful shield, Aegis? It looks like it. If I were to hurl a shield at one of your faces, could I break any of you? No. So let's go into deflect. You're on the phone with Twitch right now? You make sure to tell them that they're dumb. They should feel bad. All right, Blitz can break anybody. I love Blitz. Maybe I'll just go for a straight shot. I might be able to kill something. Let's kill this guy. Oh, he just survives. They said fucking weeb? How dare they? I will see them in court. Oh, that's literally a flying punch that thing does. Pandora, how's it going? How are you? Shoot him in the dick. Oh, the big boy doesn't have any shield, does he? Oh, nice! The fire damage took him down. Oh, I'm glad you're doing good, Pandora. Alright, that guy's shielding him. He's coming in for a ground pound. Can't trick shot or buckshot yet. Have to fight that thing. How much damage are we taking? It's just shield damage, so that's fine. In that case, everybody do your best attacks. Straight shot. He's a straight shooter. And a burst shot. Kill shot, perfect. I'm confused about why you're typing exclamation mark roulette over and over again. You're gonna play some digital D&D soon? Oh, nice! What kind of character are you playing? Tell us of your alternate personality. Coming in with a haymaker. I'll just break him with a thrown shield. Broadside, straight shots, first shots. You know what, actually, let's go with the Blitz. I want to push him real far back into the other turn. Let's knock him the next goddamn week. I do play Dungeons and Dragons. I've played many, many games of second edition. I've played third edition twice. Fourth edition I only played once, and I've played like three or four games of fifth edition. When I say games, I mean campaigns, so like many, many sessions. Personally, I only ever run one game, and that's Paranoia. I've only ever run Paranoia. I've never run any other role-playing game. The only game I, I Dungeon Master is Paranoia. But I've also played a bunch of other role-playing systems. I'm what you would call a huge goddamn nerd, so you can rest assured, played a lot of things. Friend, I don't think you're gonna get out of this one. I think you might die. Shroom power is important power. We're playing a human druid with the, sh the shroom power. 
I am unfamiliar with this particular build of druid. You play a dwarf mushroom druid? What is a mushroom druid? I've never played a druid before. I've mostly done warlocks, wizards, sorcerers, paladin. I've, I've been a lot of magic types, but never a druid. For such a notoriously unstable planet, sure seems like these temples have lasted. Titans built these structures to last, which is why Narosh is ruled by the People's Earthquake Retrofit Party. Yar, you think there's a bathroom in there? I guess it would be Titan size, so not that useful. I mean, harder to miss, I suppose, if it's a Titan sized toilet. Who will be level 4 next? Plant explosives, cover fire, horn swoggle. I'm gonna go with plant explosives. I like plant explosives. You're a ranger guy yourself? Ranger's fun. I usually go for spellcasters. I'm extra, extra partial to wild mage. I prefer the second edition version. But fifth edition's also fun. If you homebrew it a little bit. Technically rangers are spellcasters. I mean, if you want to be super technical, let me push up my imaginary glasses. Almost every class is a spellcaster if you try hard enough. Did you see the 10,000 wild magic table Pope was sharing? I don't know if I noticed that. Was that in chat or was that in the Discord? Is everyone focusing on her? One person's going after him, and that's the guy who... Will not get a turn. Blitz that stupid bastard. I mean, Bayou is no longer the thing. It's possible that I've already seen it, and that's why I didn't get that PM to me. Alright, I want you to deflect. Let's broadside... I mean, heck, broadside that guy, why not? And then burst shot that guy, too. I mean, there are folks in our very Discord who run D&D games. You could probably ask any of them. Go into the tabletop box and say, like, I want to play in a role-playing game. And you could probably find a game to play in. You can make mushroom zombies? That's very exciting. Someone nearby is stung by 1d1000 bees. That's really good. Wild magic is the best magic. All other magic is garbage. That's right, I said it. And I'm not gonna apologize either. I stand by it. Let's blitz that guy out of... Out of existence one more time. Shield throw... Oh, it's a kill shot, huh? Yeah, shield throw on him. Let's broadside you back there and burst shot you back there. Goodbye. And goodbye to you as well. I love that she gets... Love that she gets shielding back. It's so good. Let's open up with a blitz. You have almost no combat potential, but you will solve any problem. There's something to be said for playing a... A multi-tool. A Swiss army knife of a character. In 2nd edition, when I was playing with a uh, co-streamer of the channel, Jimmy, at Astra, uh, I played a wizard that was very much a toolbox wizard. I didn't really bring all that many combat spells. I would bring along a lot of weird things that I would try and use in creative ways. 
Solving problems is a lot of fun. How does the bar at the top of the screen work? Let me tell you that. So the way combat in this game works is everything has a time associated with it. Uh, every move requires a certain amount of time to go off, and that places you in the bar at the top. The bar represents uh, the combat round, and that's a certain amount of time. I can't remember how long it was. It's like uh, a minute or something. So everything you do requires so many seconds. Uh, and then multiple types of moves will delay your enemy attacks, and if you can move your enemies attack from their position on the bar off of the bar, they lose their turn. You knock them off. 60 seconds, thank you, fail prone. So yeah, one minute long. So a lot of the game's combat revolves around manipulating people's positions on the time. Yar, Narosh is my favorite titan planet. It's gritty and the citizens don't go out of their way to make you feel threatened. Sort of like D&D &D Initiative, it, it's... If I had to choose a version of Dungeons & Dragons, it's most like, it'd probably be like 3.5 with their way they handled initiative and turn order and the idea that you could like move things around on the map, but change the map to just the timeline. I love all the quaint Naroche costumes, like punching tourists in the back of the head and taking their hollow wallets. Yar, too bad all the hollow bars are closed. I love to watch the big blood ball playoff match. The Scrognogs are playing the Astral Pumps. What a game! Uh, you're better off for it. 5th edition's way better than 3.5, I think. In my humble opinion. Although I did enjoy the map focus that 3.5 had. I kind of wish they would include something like that. Looks like some of the Eternalists are holed up in that Titan Temple. I sincerely hope they're not stealing ancient artifacts, because that's kind of my gig, and I hate competition. Let's stop these Eternalist tech fetishists before they turn that temple into a juice bar. <coughs> this is our first side quest. We've haven't, we haven't seen one of these before. I'm excited. A proper side quest for a change. And a lot of, like, fun little pickups on the floor. That's lucky. 